Hey guys. Cat is busy. <laughs> Uh, we are going to do a cinemagraph and um, I've been always doing a lot of stop motions. I've been uh, trying to mix it up a little bit with sketches as well, but I've never really done a proper cinemagraph and um, I've seen this video by Peter McKinn ages ago. It was I think two or three years ago where he did a cinemagraph of coffee, pouring coffee and I want to try the same thing. Uh, there's also a little bit of inspiration from Q Mike. Uh, if you're watching this, which I doubt, amazing content, keep it up. And uh, yeah, well, I'll show you a little bit behind the scenes how we're doing it, and perhaps you would like to try it as well. And if you do, uh, I'd love to see it. So if you share it on social media, don't forget to tag me or mention me in the caption of the post if you ever share stuff like this, inspired perhaps through this video. So let's get started. So this is our setup. This is a fresh coffee we've received from Gustatory. And here's the camera. This is the lens we're using on a tripod. And this is how the frame is going to look. So I'll be sitting here, obviously on the chair, pouring coffee and we are going to film this. It's not gonna be a stop motion motion taking pictures. Uh, this is gonna be basically just one clip and we will do the rest of the masking in Photoshop later on. So coffee is done, V60. And now we're gonna start filming. What are you doing? Drinking coffee. You're drinking my coffee? <laughs> no. Yes. I filmed. I deserved. I was I was it a was model hard here. Work. <laughs> hard work pushing a button, yeah? Yes. <laughs> okay, so here's uh, the video. Um, I'm not gonna show it to you just yet. We will jump right into Photoshop and see how we can uh, do out of this video a cinemagraph. Now I'm basically doing exactly the same as Peter McKinn does in his tutorial, which is linked in the description of this video. Um, basically, you Im after you've edited the video, meaning color grading the video the way you want it to be in Premiere, you export it into Photoshop. Well, you export it as a video and then you drag it into Photoshop. Photoshop will automatically recognize the file as a video and you will be able to see this timeline on the bottom part of the screen. And the trick here, if I try to summarize it, is to do a mask. So to do it, you will have to um, duplicate the layer of your video and by pressing for all the Apple users, Command Option Shift E, Photoshop will do a basically like a JPEG of the frame, the first frame uh, you have on your video. For this, you, you have to keep in mind to um, locate the video player or this blue pin where you can move through the timeline at the first frame of the video. And then you press Command Option Shift E. After you've done that, you go into the masking uh, tool on the right side, right bottom side of the screen where you have your layer uh, settings. You select brush and you start to brush out the area where the coffee stream is. And this way, it's basically erasing that part of the, f of the screenshot you've done of, of your layer. And that's the only thing you will be able to see moving. But if you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this, I would highly recommend going over at the video of Peter McKinn and just check it out there. He's explaining every step so that you know how to export it and um, how to apply all 
um, the tools you, you need for this kind of cinemagraph on Photoshop. So now we've done the masking in Photoshop. If you want a detailed description of step-by-step -step how to do something like this, you should go to Peter McKinnon's channel. I will link the video to this exact tutorial in the description of this video. And here's basically the final result. And it's in GIF format. The cool thing about this is that you can also add it on a website um, or send a P email. Um, I had to do a screen recording on my phone and crop it because Instagram does not uh, recognize GIF files, but here's the final result. That's it from our side guys, I hope you really like this video. I know it's short, but it shows you the behind the scenes of this cinema graph we did. If um, you would like to see more content like this, just let us know in the comment section and if you haven't already, check it out on Instagram and I will, or we will see you on the next video.